Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review The Witch, a New England folktale. Written and directed by Robert Eggers, starring Anya Taylor-Joy and Ralph Innocent, The Witch is about a family in 1630s New England who is torn apart by witchcraft, black magic, and possession. Before we get into our likes, I do want to say that this is a period piece. It's more of like a drama mystery than anything, and I think it's going to be met with a lot of criticism from your average horror consumer, so if you don't like slow burn movies, you're probably not gonna like this. But let's get into our likes. I was a fan of the pacing in this movie. I know that a lot of people are gonna think it's really, really slow. Well, it was slow, I thought that the whole progression with this family, they've been banished from their town, they've left and they're trying to live on their own. Watching the family kind of go through this life of hardship as they try and deal with what they think might be a witch, I thought it was great. The pacing of this film had to be slow because if it was more upbeat, we wouldn't get that same effect of the family tearing each other apart within because it's not like there is a physical entity that we're seeing breaking them up. It's them doing it to themselves and you need that slow pacing so that that tension's there. That's gonna make the ending of this film have that strong impact. This was really reminiscent of something like The Shining where you have Jack Torrance slipping into paranoia throughout the film. In this one, it's William and his family because everybody starts accusing each other of causing all of this evil that seems to be surrounding their family. And I think that's what makes this movie scary. You start to see how the whole family starts to turn on each other based on their religious beliefs and folklore that they've heard within their town that leads them to believe that it's reasonable for them to call their spouse or their children witches. And this is dating back well before the Salem witch hunt. And that's what's creepy about it, is people live their lives this way. I believe one of the main motives of this film was to have people kind of look at religion and kind of test their belief systems because that's exactly what this family's dealing with. And so as the movie plays out, the family starts to accuse one another because they have nothing else to believe. They don't know anything other than what they've been taught growing up. They know that they aren't supposed to do certain things based on their beliefs at the time. They're forced to make accusations against their own family. And it plays on all different aspects of religion that I'm sure we can get into on a much, much deeper level. But for the sake of the length of this review, I'll just keep it at that. The act in this film was phenomenal. Our two main leads in Ralph Innocent and Anya Taylor-Joy, who plays the eldest daughter, did a great job just capturing the emotions. Not only that, I felt that they nailed the language because it is a period piece and it is hard to maintain that kind of character and use the type of dialect that was present in that day. We had great acting from every single one. Considering that majority of the cast were children actors and to take on such a role, they're not familiar with talking this way, they're not familiar with acting this way, and it was believable. Speaking about the performances from the children, there are a couple very creepy scenes that I felt were just amazing. There's one specific long take that is just brilliantly done and it just completely blew me away. It's also one of the few times in any movie where I've had this like pit in my stomach where I'm just like, I just really, really felt for the whole situation. It was completely unnerving and unsettling and I'm certain that this is why it's gotten high praise. I also want to give credit to Robert Eggers for this film because the direction he took it was awesome. This film wouldn't be as creepy as it was if he didn't shoot it and have the shot types that he had. And just capturing the expressions on the children's faces is what made this film very creepy. And on top of that, the score. I'd say 80% of this film is ambient noise and not hearing anything but what's going on in the background is what really builds that tension and makes it creepy. And when you do hear something, this music is so disorienting that it gives you goosebumps because you're not expecting it. Now let's talk about our dislikes. As I pointed out at the beginning of the review, this movie is very slow paced. And while I didn't have an issue with it, I do fear that a lot of people will. I think this is gonna hit the audiences kind of how It Follows did. I think critics will like it from a filmmaking standpoint, 
but I think that the general audience is going to be so turned off by it because of the pacing. My dislike has to go with the witch herself. I would have preferred the mystery of the witch, like Blair Witch Project. You're hearing about the witch, all the stories about the witch, but we don't actually see the witch. And that to me is creepy, leaving it up to the imagination. In this film, you are going to see the witch, and I think it took away from the setting. I can almost guarantee that this was a pickup shot done afterwards when producers picked it up to put it in theaters. Now it's time for our final thoughts and ratings. Despite what I said in our trailer reaction, I actually really like this movie. This was a near perfect period piece on witches, and the whole atmosphere really made you think that if you were living in this this time in this family's specific situation you can see yourself going a little bit crazy and starting to blame other people for the problems that you have because you have no one else to blame. All of the performances across the board were fantastic and all of the cinematography told the story that it was supposed to in a very masterful way. So I'm gonna give this Four and a half peekaboos out of five. I think the biggest qualm people are going to have with this film is the pacing because it is very slow. But you really shouldn't hold anything against it because it is a good film. The cinematography is gorgeous. The atmosphere alone is creepy. And the acting is phenomenal. It's very refreshing because it's nice to see a film tackle this genre in such a unique direction and I really recommend people go and see this. So with that being said, I'm gonna give this film four Crazy Black Phillips out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on the film if you've seen it. If not, go and check it out. It's in theaters right now. Uh, we highly recommend it. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything Bloodbath and Beyond.